Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a quick demonstration of how to add a depot to a uh, Perforce system. So to do that, go ahead and st uh, hit the start button and launch P4 Admin and establish a connection like we did before. If you haven't seen how to establish a connection to the server, check out our previous video where we discussed how to add and delete users because we talked about how to get this connection up and running quickly. All right. So now that we've got this uh, connection to our server, we can see that, all right, there's plenty of disk space, so we should be able to add a, another depot to the Perforce system with no problem. So the first thing we need to do is create a brand new blank depot. So to do that, I'm just going to come up here to File, New, and come here to Depot. I'll enter a name for the depot here. I don't know, maybe let's call it Westeros, something like that. Just pick a name. Hit OK, and I want this to be a local depot. So I will go ahead and make sure that the local is selected, and then I'll go ahead and hit OK. All right, and when I do that, I can come over now to the Depots tab, and I can see here's all of the depots that are already on the system, on the server, and down here at the bottom is my brand new Westeros depot. Now, notice that all these other depots are already populated with files, right? Things like Visual Anchoring already has files, uh, you know, Tempest has files, etc, etc. But Westeros is actually empty. That's fine. The very next step we need to do is actually populate this with one or two files to get everything started. So now that we have created this blank empty Westeros depot using p4admin, uh, I think we're good from the p4admin side of things. We can go ahead and close p4admin. All right, so to go ahead and populate that depot, what I want to do is come back again, hit the start menu, and instead of p4admin, let's launch our normal p4v. Okay, and I will go ahead and connect to that server, and I will pick my workspace as appropriate and my user. All this looks great. Let's go ahead and connect. Again, you may need to input your password here at this point, um, or you may not, depending on when you last logged in. Looks like I don't need to. So first off, let's go ahead and get any of the uh, latest revisions. And while we're getting revisions, what I want to do here is let's come look at my uh, Perforce root, basically where I'm storing all these files. So that's right here in C dev. And you can see that we don't have the Westeros depot, that new depot yet, because it's not part of our workspace. So what I need to do is come back to P4V. Let me um, maybe uh, expand this a little bit so we can see what's going on. And make sure that you have the Workspaces tab available. If it's not here, you may need to come up here to View Workspaces, and that will get this tab up. So what you can do is make sure you filter down so you can find the current workspace that you're working on. So in this case, it's this workspace right here uh, called LUM, LUM Surface Pro 5, All Depot. So what I need to do is I need to modify this to include that new Westeros Depot. Because again, look down here, it's not listed. So I'm going to come to the, to the workspace, right click on this, and I'm going to edit that workspace. Now what I see is, again, you've got all of these commands, and you can see that I've got all of these depots selected, but I do not have this Westeros one selected. So what I want to do is I'm going to right-click on Westeros, and I'm going to include this tree. So when I say include tree, that says I also want to sync that depot. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And I'll get this little dialog that says get latest, and that's probably what I want to do. So let's go ahead and get latest. And now, at this point, you may get a uh, an error or a note saying down here something like um, P4V or Perforce is unable to resolve the current workspace. I've seen that happen in older versions of P4V. What it's basically telling you is I'm syncing that depot, but if you remember, that depot has no files. And Perforce seems to have this issue um, where you have just empty folders with no files in it. It doesn't seem to like that. So what you're seeing is it doesn't show up here on your list of depots. You can come here and hit refresh if you like, and it still doesn't show up. Okay, so to get around this, this is something that only the first person that initially populates the depot is going to have to do. They're going to have to come to your your workspace root, which is right here, right? We said this workspace, this root is C uh, dev. And again, notice there's nothing here in Westeros. So what I need to do is I need to go and create a blank folder, and I need to name this exactly the name of the depot I just created. So that was Westeros, like that. Okay, and now what I need to do is I need to put in a single file to initially populate the depot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just right click. I'm going to create a new uh, text document. Like this can be anything. Like a like a like a I'll make a to do list. How about 
right? And you don't even really need to populate this, right? You could just write anything you want, right? So maybe how about get a pet license for Drogon, uh, get pet food, uh, invite Cersei uh, Lannister over for dinner. See item two. Okay, it doesn't really matter what this is. Uh, let's go ahead and save this file, close it, okay? And now what I can do is come back over here to, to Perforce, oops, sorry, to P4V, and let me start a new change list here. So I'm going to start a new change list, and I'm going to say this is the initial, initial population of the Westeros Depot. Okay, I'm going to hit save. Get myself a number change list, which is right here. And now if I come over to my workspace and I hit refresh, down here, Westeros shows up. And what I need to do is I need to add this file to this change list. Okay. And now when I submit this, this will send one file up to the server and we should have a, a, a Westeros depot with a single file that other people can now sync uh, normally. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Great, that's up on the server now, and if I come over here to the Depot workspace, I can see that, yes, indeed it is. That one single file is up and running. So now, anybody should be able to modify their workspace and include the Westeros Depot, and everything will sync down and pull down normally. They're not going to have to go through this one weird step of adding that folder like we did um, when you were initially populating the depot. So again, this may be something you want to do as an administrator as is to set up the initial file structure of the depot before you ask other people to sync that depot. It'll just make everybody's lives a little bit easier. So at this point, we've got the new depot up on the server. We've got one file um, in that depot and other users with uh, from your system will be able to go ahead and sync that depot and use it for work. So with that being said, I think this is a good spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to catch you at a future discussion. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.